All right, guys, let's roll cameras. Tell me what your name is. I go by the name Thank You X. Wait, wait, hold on. I can't see his face. Oh. My bad, man. Sorry about that. I go by Thank You X. I started putting the X on everything just because it was, I, I, at first, I didn't really know what to go by. So I just mark it with an X. And then some bloggers will call me Thank You X. And I'm like, I guess I'm Thank You X. Do everything from pop art to street art. I do fine art for galleries, but mostly stuff on the streets. Street art scene in Los Angeles is, it's massive. There's, there are a lot of people vying for positioning and vying for the right corner and the right spot. Um, from there, Think UX took off and has run with uh, pop art imagery very consistently. The Andy Warhol one is the one that I'm more known for, I'd say. It's his face, and thank you right underneath. It's just an homage to him and, you know, everything he's done for the art community, making it no rules in art. I ride a lot with Desire Obtain Cherish. He's a good friend of mine, amazing artist, sculpture artist, pop artist, street artist. It's cool to have someone who's kind of a veteran in both the art and motorcycle world, you know, showing me the ropes. I never intended on being an artist that was called Desire, Obtain, Cherish. <laughs> Gallery guys keep wanting me to shorten it to DOC. You know, I'm like, doc, I'm not a doc, I'm not a doctor. I'm sorry it's too long, you know? For me, the message has to be clear. Kind of like the cycle of consumerism, where you desire something, you obtain it, and you cherish it. But it's also the cycle of ourselves, where we desire a woman, and then we obtain her, and then we cherish her. I don't think people really connect uh, motorcycles with street art. You kind of connect it with like some subversive van that you're going out to at night. But being on a bike, um, packing stuff up, you know, keeping the brush, things a lot more convenient. I don't really think cops think street artists are on motorcycles either. So if they see you out there and they see a bike, I don't think they're really putting two and two together. Motorcycle is pretty crucial to have while doing street art because it's fast. It can get through tight spaces. If there was some sort of legal situation, you could get out of there fast just by cutting through alleyways or neighborhoods. It's almost like you use it as a tool rather than transportation.